Hi everyone, Helen Blunden here at Activate Learn. This week, Dave Cormier has asked us to embrace uncertainty at Rhizo Learning CMOOC. And here I am on a Friday morning in my own workplace. The two words, embracing uncertainty, we hear all the time in a corporate learning and development context. In fact, for the last 23 years that I've been in learning and development, every single year, every single restructure, every single change, they tell us to embrace uncertainty. But those two words don't seem to go together. How can you embrace uncertainty? How can you lovingly, openly accept this change and uncertainty? And rather than write a long blog post today, instead I thought I'd vlog my thoughts and opinions and uh, also show you a bit ar around my own workplace and seeing how we're embracing uncertainty. Or I guess embrace is not the word. It's kind of like you know when you get asked to when you get asked to accept or hug a long lost cousin you've never met. That's what I feel with uncertainty and change. So here it is. Remember the days of cubicles of personalised workspace. This is the future. This is our workplace. When I first joined learning and development some 23 years ago, things seemed so easy. We knew our learners, we knew the guides that we had to create, we knew the venues and the training rooms that uh, we would train in. Sometime later now, it's so different. Look behind me, look at the type of workplaces that people now in corporate contexts are working in. As learning and development people, we need to be aware of all the tools, the methods and media that are at our disposal, uh, all the collaboration tools, all the software, all the social networking uh, technologies, everything that will enable us to be able to present and guide our learners and um, provide them with a learning journey that they can go on, go on themselves. Gone are the days where we can just stick people into uh, training classrooms or to get them to do really boring learning programs sitting in front of the computer without any context um, or application to their work. In my experience I've come across all sorts of various different individuals in learning and development. People who were out in the business, who were subject matter experts and who for whatever reason had great abilities to coach and teach others and were then placed into a learning role. And I've worked with other people who I have considered as uh, thought leaders and gurus in the space. Um, so you could see that learning and development has a whole range of different people with different expertise and different knowledge and skills that they bring. But the, I think what the one thing that ties us together is that we are within learning. There are certain expectations of us that our businesses expect of us uh, to be able to deliver to them so they can deliver to their clients. And in the past I've noticed that uh, we tend to rely a lot on our uh, senior managers to provide us that direction and to provide us with the development that we need to move into new areas. But what I've noticed is that some of our senior managers are also in the same predicament that we are. They don't know what the future holds. They themselves are trying to keep up with the many changes and the many tools. And so they look to learning and development to be able to role model and to help their, their people uh, help the customers. So what can L&D people do to embrace uncertainty? Well, for one, I look at myself. I have to be open. I have to be curious. I uh, need to explore uh, other tools and methods and media and approaches. I need to be able to connect with people who might have this information and who I can learn from. Uh, I want to be able to share what I'm learning to others who uh, may not know or who may not be aware of it uh, with the intention that obviously that they would also exchange their knowledge and uh, their experience and their expertise in the area. I try at all times to uh, not poo-poo any ideas or not to uh, think about what we used to do in the past. Um, I also try to be as open as I can to role model the new behaviours of uh, working in an environment like this, in an environment that is changing every single day. 
So I don't know whether I'm ready to embrace uncertainty, but I'm doing my best to accept that long lost cousin and getting to know him a bit more and uh, learning more about him and also then presenting him to my other cousins. So hopefully uh, there's a more opportunity to a little bit more, be more accepting of him. So I don't know what other choice we have as L&D professionals to try and grapple with this ever-changing world. I don't know what the future holds. I don't know whether what I'm doing is um, going to help me in the future in any way, but at least I'm giving it a go. And I think it's, it's that, those very words, giving it a go, that will help us and um, make, make something a little bit more certain. So that's it. That's my vlog. Thank you for listening. Bye.